difficulty. I went up to him and asked him was it his vehicle and he replied yes. I asked him to give me the number of the vehicle which he was unable to do. I asked him when the vehicle excise license expired and he was unable to give me the correct answer. I saw those keys in the ignition and I was then satisfied that this man was attempting to steal the I cautioned him and told him that I was arresting him for the attempted theft of the vehicle and he said you must be joking. You've heard what the officer said? No. Anything to say about it? No. Say this for me. 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 Although I live on top of the steep police station in the middle of this environment, I would hate to live here as a permanent resident. In fact, I wouldn't. The younger elements now that are responsible for most of the offences, it really isn't their fault. They've been brought up to do it by their parents. They just don't see it as wrong. They don't see any harm in stealing a car. The cars that they haven't got one, so they can remedy that by taking one. They really don't look upon it as an evil. We haven't really got time to go about the social aspects of altering their customs one way or the other. Um, we've just got to try and stop their customs from interfering with the customs of the more conservative members that are, in a sense, paying for us and uh, want us there. keep communicating with people. One confrontation between a police officer and a member of the public can destroy weeks, months of good community relations work. It's a slow process. There are people, of course, who would like to right the situation overnight, and I would too. But I know from experience that this is not the way life goes. It's a little more difficult than that. And I'm patient. As you get older, you learn more patience. Liverpool has always given its police a tough time. All crimes show an increase. Chief Inspector, Medical Control. All right, yes, Mr. Gill. All right, yes, that's quite so. The body of a young woman was found at 8.30 a.m. this morning in Rodney Street. We are treating it as a case of murder. Attacks on private individuals in the street have increased in a year by 9%. Attacks on cashiers inside their premises have increased by 85%. And in 93 offences, firearms were involved. Over five years, the incidence of robbery has gone up by 121%. The police feel hard-pressed. Public complaints and criticism can undermine morale. In an increasing number of demonstrations, the police themselves have become the target for the demonstrators' fury. They believe only good police work can prevent a breakdown in law and order. I just have your attention now. Now you've had a, a taste of what a hostile crowd can do. Fortunately for the police close cordon, we manage successfully, this time. And unless we keep the methods that we have now, the methods we're learning today, and improve on them, which I hope we will, it's going to be a very, very difficult job in the future. As we anticipate these agitators, these strikes, rioters are going to go even worse. But you must remember, whether your helmet goes for a burden, whether you get knee in the groin, you must still hang on to your close cordon. Still keep your arms linked, and most of all, keep your temper. In 1971, 419 Liverpool policemen were attacked and wounded. In one year, that is an increase of 21%. In my annual report, I said something about the policemen being between the anvil and the hammer. I think better sense will prevail eventually, and I can see that uh, the only way to do this positively is for this greater contact with people 
telling them what you are doing and why you are doing it, giving them an interest in the achievement. I have a lot of faith in the police force. I have a lot of faith in policemen. We've got problems, of course we've got problems. But I'm optimistic about the future. Thank you.